before I jump right into it, I'm just going to tell you some little small little pieces of the puzzle. So banks technically are outside of the physical area. However, in order to kind of keep the whole thing in a model, I put it right up here close to expenses and deposits because this is how you play, okay? Expenses out, deposits are in. And this is also plays a part of your financials. And so this is why it's kind of right here up towards the top. And the reason expenses are here is because it's right next to vendor. Technically, deposits should be down here by invoices, but I wanted to put it here close to banks, okay? I'm just trying to give you a, just a general, general overview. The question that Sandy has is as far as a default bank deals with this little setting right here. I'm going to go to the bank homepage, so we're virtually going to another little miniature homepage inside of Atlas. I currently have, um, I'm on the running bank balance page. I actually need to be to the bank homepage. So now that I'm on the bank homepage, I can physically go into the item. If I click on this one, the setting that she is wondering about is this guy right here, default check writing bank. And she only has one of them selected, but she's like, how come it doesn't automatically populate into my expense receipts? Okay, And that's a wonderful question. And basically right now, the only place that this is physically mapped to is the uh, payables homepage. But all we have to do is just create that map. It's literally very easy, but we have to just kind of get into the code and reconnect those pieces and make sure that that link works. So right here, this default check writing bank, if I'm doing check requests or payables, it automatically flows in. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click on the AP vendor waiting room. And what you'll see is it actually will come in and say, hey, what, what is my... Uh, um, what is my default bank and what do I have for some of my different pieces and such? And uh, I didn't actually have that checked. Why don't I go, it's not showing up. I'm like, oh my goodness, where is it? <laughs> Just a minute, I'm going to go turn it on. Watch this. I'm going to go home, banks, bank homepage, because I don't want the running balances. I'm going to actually turn that on so it physically shows up. I didn't even have mine turned on. If I hit edit bank, it makes it stick. Now if I go back to my payables homepage, I'm just looking across the top here, payables homepage. Boom, High Country Bank. Okay, so this is one of the places that it's automatically mapped to. It's kind of like, hey, you currently are working with $61,000. If that was only nice, real, that would be nice. But uh, <laughs> So basically, it's, it's mapped to certain places. If I create a check request, which is a sub of an expense receipt, automatically pulls in, hey, I'm assuming you're going to assign it to this. What we need to do, Sandy, is just assign it. The place that she's trying to do it, watch this right here. Say we create, uh, here's a vendor that we were paying yesterday. This is a college that my sister Shannon, she's going to try to be a midwife. Okay, So if I hit create receipt, here's where she would like it to show up, right here. Okay. Now the reason that mine happens to show up is I only have one bank. So if, it only, if you only have one, it'll show up by default. If I had multiple banks, what she's wanting to is like, man, I really wish it would just show up to my default bank. So that's what she's actually asking about. Sandy, I do know what it is, and it is on the to-do list, and I will say, good job, and we will get to that. Does that answer your question? Okay, how about defaulting the ER expense type? About 80% of the ERs I have are inventory. Sure would be nice if the type line default is inventory. I do lots and lots of ERs. Okay, uh, great. That's another great comment. And basically, here's a, here's a thing that's kind of interesting. And I'm going to take you off on a little tangent here. But it's important. And it's interesting to even see where things are going to go. I'm going to click on any help file. And I'm going to go to things called Steps for Success. Then I'm going to kind of scroll down and actually take you to a thing called, uh, I can't remember 100%, I think that is actually on, I'm going to try here. Okay, so basically what I wanted to do is show you this particular model right here. Okay, this is an Atlas icon, and if you take out the word user and you say permissions and settings, 
we're seeing more and more and more that people want to tweak this thing out to exactly what they want. And so the model is already built in a way, but basically what we're going to be doing is expanding to that model. So we're going to be doing more and more permissions and settings, creating the whole foundation of what Atlas is. And so for right now, I think that's a great example, but uh, currently that is not in there. But if you tell us, we will add it to the tick list and get that going. Another thing that we would actually like to do along with that, this is right along your same lines, is often certain vendors you pay certain things. So if I have a certain vendor and I actually always pay just my utility bill, well what ends up happening is, is ideally it would be great if that could be default mapped to that expense type, utilities versus inventory. So instead of just having a general catch-all default um, we'd actually like to take it clear to the vendor level. So it's like, hey, this particular vendor, when I pay him, it's usually utilities, it's usually internet, it's usually, you know, whatever it might be. And in your case, inventory would be a lot of what you're actually paying. Uh, another thing that's kind of interesting on what you're doing is, is you actually are paying off POs. If you're paying for inventory, that usually means that you created, it came in through a vendor, it hit a PO, and then eventually hit your inventory pool and then you're selling it. But in the meantime, as it made this transition right here, it needs to rest right here. Like, what do I owe? And so you're technically, I would imagine, paying off a bunch of POs as well. And so what we'd like to do and where we'd like to take it is actually taking that default expense type and physically tying it all the way to the vendor level. So She also just said, I see what you say, default back to what you used last. Okay. Okay, correct, correct. So basically that would be on a, on a vendor specific level and that's where we'd like to take it. And these are great ideas and great options and we will just continue to keep building. You can, we have been working and building on this virtual world since 2001. And so we will just keep going and it will keep getting better and better. Should be fun.